Do you date the same guys? No, actually. No, actually, yeah. We do, you, do not date the same guys. Complete opposite tastes and, and guys, which is a huge plus. It's the perfect scenario for living together. He likes, you know, like traditional and then, Abercrombie. And then this one loves his this Latin voice. This bitch <laughs> How old do you think I was when I lost my virginity? 21. No. I was 17. I was a late bloomer. I was five foot two all through high school. And nobody, ow. Are you, are you chewing a hard candy in the middle of a Hold on, it's Valentine's Day. There's nothing like hard, chalky candy that tell, that really just brings you the fucking Valentine's Day spirit. I'm Murray. I'm JJ. Hey, I'm the Handy Dan. And I'm Sam J. Garfield, and we are gonna test out our bromance today. Bromance? This is a full-fledged gay relationship. <laughs> I fucking wish. Let me kiss. Uh -huh. <laughs> For the most part, well, we live together. We go to the gym together every day. We go to the grocery store together. <laughs> yeah. We pretty much do everything. We're pretty much a married we're, couple. Um, bromance, exactly. <laughs> we met almost four through, years ago. Through, almost through Marco. Yeah, through Marco. Marco. I don't know if you've heard of him. He he makes underwear and costumes. Me and Marco um, actually met on a job when I was still um, backup dancing for an artist, and he came and was hired to do the costumes for the job. So when I was there at rehearsal, uh, him and Chris came and had to fit my junk for underwear, and the rest is history. And I met Marco. Marco in Madison, Wisconsin. I was go-go dancing and. He was there uh, doing a bar show. So I absolutely love Marco Marco. You know, I came on, he invited me to be one of his models and invited me into one of his runway shows. And since then, it's just kind of like taken off into its own thing. I think he's such an amazing designer. So I've been involved with a lot of his runway shows and a bunch of his photo shoots. And I just absolutely love everything he does. I think he's one of the most talented people. With me, I met Marco out at the clubs over our first move to LA. And then he's dressed me for, for a few award shows for the Gay Porn Star Awards. Um, of course, I've worked for him in events that I've done at nightclubs and absolutely love wearing his underwear, so. He dresses porn stars that are usually in underwear, but on the red carpet they just mm -hmm. look like stunning. I mean, Marco encompasses everything. He doesn't just do just underwear. He dresses celebrities, he dresses porn stars, he dresses models, I mean, drag just, queens. Yeah. Okay, so today we're gonna be asked questions to test how well we know each other. We'll see how well you know that. <laughs> you don't even know uh -huh. me, girl. Uh -huh. Let's test it. Uh, honestly, I think it's gonna be a really close, <laughs> even. I think we're not gonna know shit about each other. <laughs> exactly even. We're gonna be on that very low scale. What was your first impression of me when we met? We were in a booth at the bar, like at a table. And that was like the first time we like actually sat and talked and I was like, this dude is really cool, but like, he might get eaten alive here in LA. So how am I doing now, four years later? Kind of killing it. Thank you. Yeah. So JJ, what do you think my first impression of you was? Small town, by trying too hard, insecure. We did, we chatted on Grinder for a long time before we actually met. That's what's funny about it. I do remember that. News to me. <laughs> Catfish! He's that southern boy that's like you gotta break that shell eventually the more you're in la i think the more you come into your own personality and you you're developing your whole thing so i, I love that oh, you do have a sweet side <laughs> i don't No. what was your first impression of me i think my first impression of you was like this this guy's way too cool for school i also knew we were going to be good friends though yeah i i got that vibe right away i was yeah. like oh we're, we're definitely going to be good friends and we have become good friends i go to his house for all the holidays but that's because he knows i'm on them no that's because i want you there oh well, thanks. Same question. What do you think my first impression of you was? So I get this a lot. I always get like the, you're usually a, like I get this bitchy persona. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> wow. This bitchy persona that you're kind of this like, you're unapproachable type of thing. But then when people actually do just approach me and talk to me, they're like, oh shit, damn. You're actually a lot of fun. I, was, I didn't know much about you. The only thing I really knew about you at that point was I saw you on What Happens at the Abbey. Because when I first moved there, I didn't really have much to go off of anybody in LA. So I just watched the one TV show about the Abbey that I knew was out there. Holding a conversation with you, unless you're really getting to know someone, you're just kind of like, okay. And then five minutes later, you forget their name anyway, so. So like I said, a bit. So it still stands true. <laughs> When's the first time that we ever hung out, just the two of us? It was actually after a while of us group hanging out. You definitely had a crush on me. You, okay, don't interrupt. You definitely had a crush on me. I picked you up in my car. Then he came over to my apartment and I had, I had put a two-person tent up in my living room and we watched Fast and Furious. 
Um, oh and that my was gosh. The, that was that the first is, time we ever hung out alone. That's true. Other tents were pitched. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> what was the first time that we hung out just you and me? It was probably watching a movie mm. at Oakwood. It was. So it was that turn. Turn. Him and his ex had gotten into it at chapel one night. Murray got slapped across the face. <laughs> slapped right in the face. Right Just across the no face. No fucks given. Like, so the next day I was like, JJ, you wanna hang out? And he's like, yeah. The one time him and I have ever remotely come anywhere close to anything sexual. That is the one time and that will be, that is that one line that will never be crossed. Yeah, I mean, we didn't have sex. But we, we didn't have sex, no. Anything close to sexual. We did not have sex though. Do you know, it actually really does help that the guys we're attracted to are polar opposites. Cause you know if you have the same guys coming over and the same guys hanging out with you and partying and you're like, you're both diving at the same guy, it just creates this weird tension. I mean, we do have some guys that we both find attractive. And it's most not, of the time. and it's not Mike, first of all. <laughs> I knew he was gonna walk out here. <laughs> what do you think my weirdest habit is? Your weirdest habit? Yeah. I think you take too long to shower, to be honest. And I was thinking about that when I was showering earlier. I was like, you know who showers for a really long time? Sam. Mm -hmm. And I get it, I understand it. I do because it's your only downtime. There it is. Like you there get like is. you work so hard you know, producing everybody else's dreams. JJ, do you remember where we first met? It would have had been at the Abbey. Would it had to have been or it, was it? It would have had to I need have a been. solid answer. It's not a maybe. It would have had to have been because we weren't hanging out with the same people, so it would have had to have been at the Abbey. For would, sure. It was definitely at the Abbey. Yeah. That's just a solid answer. If you're like, where did I meet Murray? And you're just the saying Abbey. the Abbey. <laughs> yeah, you're probably I'm right. just gonna say <laughs> you're right because I don't fucking know. <laughs> what do you think my biggest talent is? Your biggest talent is um, first of all, on a practical level, your ability to fix anything that is put in front of you. Except like, my own personal Except your problems. own personal <laughs> life. And also your ability to eat everything. Dan's favorite foods are everything. Ever, anything, everything. Anything. Anything yeah. and everything. I like black olives a lot. <laughs> Who do you think would die first in a scary movie? Definitely JJ. <laughs> but she dead. <laughs> Why? Why exactly? You know the cheerleader dies first? Like that's oh JJ. God. So like, but she dead. Sam, what do you think my worst personality trait is? Your worst personality trait is also one of your best personality traits. Ooh, which a is, twofer. Yeah, which is like your ability to just like keep going all the time. Like the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the never ending fountain of energy. Is this your way of telling me you're so tired of me? <laughs> no, I love it. But like I said, it's like, it's also like when I'm tired and I've had the longest day ever and then like, here comes Dan. Dan's ready to go. He's Dan's a can of sugar for Red Bull. <laughs> JJ, am I? Comfortable with PDA? No, <laughs> not at all. I'm not. <laughs> you're really not. If any boy tries to come and kiss you in the club, you're like, okay. Yeah. You stand there and dance. I'm gonna just I'm be like, feeling nuts no. right here and dance. Enjoy your space. I'm right here in my bubble, like just. Oh, but me on the other hand, I love PDA. He really does. JJ just loves to make out with a boy at a club. Like he'll just walk up to a boy and make out with him. I love that about him. <laughs> you're cool with like just like a little quick hug and like a kiss on the cheek. I mean, people cool. know when I care about them, but like for me to do it publicly and weird, it, it's just, I'm very, very sexual person, but to be like PDA with a boyfriend or whatever, just not, I don't know why. You know what's really funny is that JJ is actually a hopeless romantic. He actually is. He loves cuddling on the couch and being like this schmoozy, schmoozy like, <laughs> but he's a porn star, so you would just expect him to be like, fuck you and be like, good night. I have sex with people on camera all the time for work, so it's nice to have that person just to have fun, like cuddle on the couch with and watch a movie, or just like cuddle in bed. I don't have to have sex all the time. It's fun, don't get me wrong. If I was any animal, what animal do you think I'd be? Hmm, I'm gonna give you something cool, like a dolphin. And I actually learned the other day that dolphins have different dialects. So dolphins oh. that live in different places have accents, dolphins have accents. And I think that's pretty cool, and you're cool. So, and you you speak you speak everybody's <laughs> language. You know what I'm saying? It's you like, all have different accents. If we're gonna go out to eat, what would be my perfect place? Um, Wait, my favorite place or like my ideal place? Because they're very different. <laughs> Don't say ideal. Because I know. I'm this, very. Okay, this, so one, I'm very, this one would go to like Ruth's Chris and be perfectly happy getting a nice big old steak. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's perfect. You're right. That's, that's exact. Very like top dollar. Like just spend as much as possible on a meal. A lot of money. Super high. Steakhouse, done. Which one of my songs that I've done is your favorite? Well, are you really about to split this gang up? <laughs> yeah, we gonna fight after this. No, it's actually the album you did with Johanna. I like the way that you are going out of the box with the sounds you're creating. 
Yeah, that one was very experimental. Yeah. What is one food that I don't like? Okay, one food that you don't like at all. I would say fish is something you're definitely uh, like, mm, no. Su sushi is done. No. Yeah, and that's, that's th thankfully we both share that one in common because I'm not about uncooked fish, no. If someone was going to play me in a movie, who would it be? It's a hard question when you're so unique. It's super hard, you're so unique. <laughs> you know, not because you look like him, but like I'm gonna give you the best actor there is. I think I'm gonna give you like Christian Bale. Cause he's gonna like definitely method method act the whole time. He's gonna like he's gonna work out, <laughs> produce music, do drugs, hang out with people. Can we? Do we gotta edit that out? Are we allowed to do drugs on the internet? Am I more of a morning or night person? Is that even a question? No, I don't. No. <laughs> really? It really is. <laughs> night person for sure. Although I do I do enjoy coming like diving on you in the mornings and just annoying the fuck out of you while you're waking up. She doesn't even check if I have underwear on or anything. <laughs> she just jumps on me. I'm like, okay, hold on. The yo, sheets are still on you. The sheets are still there. Where do you think the craziest place I've ever had sex is? Probably like a Ferris wheel or something like that. <sighs> That's a great idea, I'm gonna use that. <laughs> Actually, I don't get that crazy with my locations. I had, oh wait, I did get a blowjob in the Wisconsin Capitol building one time. We almost got busted. And then there's a bar on Sunset right by that place that you flamenco, you didn't flamenco dance, but they do the flamenco dance in there. Oh, the El Cid? El Cid. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's a bar right up the street and I had sex in their parking lot in front of the security guy. And did he watch? I hope he didn't. What is my secret kink? It's in the drawer on your bed. This one <laughs> loves restraints. He loves ropes. He loves like handcuffs. <laughs> the boy has got a whole drawer full of this stuff. Oh, okay, that's, that's true. Better. That's pretty true. <laughs> so any boys out there, you now know Murray's kink. What kind of underwear am I wearing right now? Like color, style, brand, all of it. Well, I know you're wearing Marco Marco because they're the best fit. I bet they're black. I know they're brief. <laughs> am I right? They are black. They are brief. It's, it's obvious. They're Marco Marco, <laughs> they're black, they're brief. They are Marcos, but that's because I also just have so many that when I reach my drawer, <laughs> it's the first thing I pull out. How about you describe my perfect guy? Oh, that's easy. That's so easy. <laughs> he is like Swedish, six foot two, no, blonde no, hair, no. blue eyes. First of all, you got the, you got the height wrong. Because you really like all American boys. I do. Blonde hair, whatever, blue eyes. With a really smooth ass, really smooth hole. It mm -hmm. just doesn't matter. If you have a smooth ass, JJ's already, oh, yeah. he's probably had you in bed. That's so true. <laughs> you're making that to be, say I'm like some whore of West Hollywood here, okay. No, not of West Hollywood, of the country. <laughs> don't limit yourself, sweetie. <laughs> if you don't have a boyfriend, make sure to have like, love yourself. A little bit of bromance and love, or love yourself. Love yourself, love, love yourself yeah. first, but then get like, and then go love everybody. Else. A good best friend. <laughs> uh, we're way off track on that. <laughs> you know, everything we talked about was great until right now. <laughs> if you would like to get your own pair of Marco Marco underwear, click the link below. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because we put out new videos every Wednesday. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day, everybody. Ah. Yeah. Ah.